Next comedian I'm bringing to the stage, he's working hard around town, he's funny. Wayne McCracken, everybody. Thanks very much, Mr. Stroop. Oh, I think it's funny that the best movies to watch on acid are also children's movies. Oh, one of my favorite ways to spend a Sunday afternoon is getting really fucking high on acid and learning how to train my dragon. Oh. And, yeah, if I'm feeling really adventurous, what I like to do is get a bag of Sour Patch Kids, put about five drops in that bad boy, and then sneak it into the movie theater and learn how to train my dragon in IMAX. <laughs> the way God intended. <laughs> uh, though, speaking of God, uh, you're going to want to keep an eye out when you're approaching the movie house if you're on a bunch of hallucinogens on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> for, uh, for church buses. Yeah. Uh, and if you see one, don't make the same mistake I did and go inside. Because <laughs> you, you just, just imagine me in line for a soda, surrounded by a herd of fourth graders on a Sunday school field trip. A very different kind of field trip than the one I was on. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, I'm experiencing God and they're being indoctrinated on it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and whatever you do, whatever you do, do not engage in conversation with one of the kids. Like I did. I remember it a little bit. Uh, it was this little curly-headed fuck. Let's call him Timmy. He's down here, it's all hunched over there. Hey, Timmy, uh, noticed you were a fan of God. Uh, yeah, can tell by the Jesus Saves t-shirt. Uh, I hate to tell you, Timmy, that's incorrect. Yeah. Uh, now, Timmy, uh, I don't have the time to explain to you what God is, but here, I'll tell you what, have a Sour Patch Kid. <laughs> now, now, if you give an eight-year-old just a little bit of acid, he's probably not gonna experience God. He's gotta smoke DMT to do that. <laughs> Which I have done. And, you know, I'm still confused on the idea of God, you know? You, you try to be enlightened, but it's, it's a fleeting idea. And so I, I'm not convinced that God exists. I don't think anybody is. But what I do believe that is if God does exist, that God hates flags. <laughs> now please, I hope you didn't mishear me. Allow me to enunciate. God hates flags. With a very distinct and hard L in that word. <laughs> Basically, I don't think God would approve of governments and the pieces of cloth that represent them. What I'm saying, let, let's put it this way. If, if God were the starting linebacker for the Denver Broncos, he'd probably take a knee during the anthem. I think, I think we can all agree it would be fucking amazing if the Denver Broncos drafted God to play middle linebacker. <laughs> the AFC Championship game. He's lined up across from Tom Brady, also known as Satan Incarnate. He's giving him shit about Giselle. He's like, you know your wife makes more money than you, right, Tom? And I'm omnipresent, motherfucker. I know it's a wide right pass, bitch. All right, guys, thanks. I'm Wayne McCracken. Give it up for Comedy Works, your host, Darren.